Nefertiti is a dazzlingly beautiful woman. No one really knew who she was. No one was looking for her. And then suddenly, there she was in all her splendor. Rumored to be the most beautiful woman in Egypt during the 14th century BC, Nefertiti means the beautiful woman has come. What we do know about Nefertiti is that she was Egyptian and not a foreign princess, tall, thin, and at least her husband wanted her to be portrayed as beautiful. Nefertiti married Pharaoh Amenhotep IV around age 15. The couple was a formidable force in Egypt. Definitely we know Nefertiti was not her husband's sister, which is rare enough in the Egyptian dynasties. So hooray for genetic diversity. Together, Nefertiti and Amenhotep established a new religion, the cult of Aten, which shifted worship from the god Amun to the god Aten. Nefertiti and Amenhotep basically created their own religion. They said, this is the way it is. We are in charge, we are second to God, the end. So people were a little upset. She changed her name to Nefer Neferu Aten Nefertiti. Beautiful are the beauties of Aten, a beautiful woman has come. And with her husband, now named Akhenaten, they moved the court to a new city. So essentially, Akhenaten was asking people to say, if you want to be part of the government, you have to move from your turf to my turf and play by my rules. Nefertiti is depicted as being more powerful than previous queens, sometimes even pictured with the crown of a pharaoh. Nefertiti and Amenhotep, as a couple, were kind of a 14th century BC power couple. At least that's how they're depicted in a lot of the artifacts, and she was elevated to a position higher than any other queen in Egyptian history. All depictions and writings of Nefertiti mysteriously disappear after about 12 years. There's a good argument to be made for the fact that she became a king. If she was, she was probably crowned only because this little boy, Tutankhamun, was too young to rule on his own and she was afraid he wasn't going to be able to maintain the changes that they'd made. The famous bust of Nefertiti was discovered by Ludwig Borchardt in 1913, launching her to modern fame. That bust, that iconic image, gave us something to hang our hats on, gave us something to put on tote bags and t-shirts and keychains. That's why we talk about her.